last time here I spoke with uh, people in the church here. And I was telling you about uh, the problems of our country. You remember? Amen. Huh? Amen. And I want to remind you again. You now, before this whole thing start to happen, I'm sure that was three weeks ago. I came to you and said, let's pray for our country. Because I saw problems that are coming. You, how many of you remember that? Let me see your hand. You know, this thing is it's very serious. And if we don't pray, I even said to you, we can end up living in a country that people will fail to govern it. I'm sure you remember that. I want to tell you that even as I'm speaking with you, there's a plan, like what I said more than three weeks ago, you know, to have a strike you know, against the leadership. And I'm sure they're going to mobilize this thing very soon. So I want us to pray. You want to pray for your country? Remember what I told you, you end up living in a country that people fail to govern it. I'm sure you're hearing me. So now, if we pray, I'm sure God can hear us. Isn't it? Yeah. Huh? So, I'm sure in 2024, I'm sure there's elections. We must pray for God to choose a rightful leader. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't want a rightful leader? Maybe it's time that you know, Christians must take over. Yes. Huh? Yes. You know, people that will come and fear God. Not people that will be shaken by wind. You come to Sangomas, tomorrow you go to church. Ah! We, we need to know where you are standing. If you are with God, be with God. If you are with Satan, you must be with Satan. We need to know you. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to pray? Amen. Maybe I can tell you again. I said, I'm seeing people that will mobilize the issue of strike. I even told you last time. Against your leadership. And this is going to disturb schools. You're going to fail to even go to work. You know? Because it, it's going to be a mixed up. So let us stand up and pray. If this thing I told you three weeks and I'm repeating it, I don't normally uh, say things and I come and say them again. So it shows that uh, you, your country really needs prayer. Are you hearing me? It really shows that your country needs prayer. I'm telling you, I'm not a, I, I'm not a person who loves to speak things because I want to speak. I only speak if God says I must speak. If God said, don't speak, I keep quiet. If, if people of church can be strong and pray, one day we can have a president that is a prophet. And you can imagine what will happen. I was telling people the other time, I said, one of the reasons why Africa will look like this, as if it's a cursed place, we have forgotten God now. Let's start here. A protester has been shot dead in Tembisa in Egurleni. This, of course, is as residents there are protesting and blocking roads. They're angry about a, a range of issues, including the cost of the rates for municipal services. Crowds protested last week, demanding to speak to authorities. But that meeting broke down after they were unable to reach an agreement. Police say it's not yet clear where the Metro Police are responsible for this morning's shooting. However, members of police watchdog IPID have been called to the scene to investigate. And those live scenes that we're showing you there um, from my colleague Gamuchelo, the camera operator, showing you those live uh, visuals of what's happening in Tembisa. Of course, motorists have been warned to stay away from this area. At the same time, several municipal buildings have also been set alight. All the major routes within the Tembisa vicinity are blockaded with either burning tires, rocks, and motorists are urged to avoid all these routes. Uh, we further confirm that some of our municipal buildings have been set alight. We're talking now the Triple C, that is the customer care center, 
the Etafeni pay point and other vehicles belonging to the public. Uh, those who are attempting to make their way into the Timbisa area, um, they are not safe. And, you know, stones are seen pelted at whatever vehicle that is moving, including us as police officials on the scene. We, we received reports that uh, one of the protesters was fatally uh, shot by allegedly members of the EMPD. We want to confirm that, yes, um, we, we do take accountability for what has transpired, but however, investigations will further reveal that, you know, how the merit or the magnitude of such had transpired. The Ekurulani Metro Police Department has confirmed that a second person has died in the ongoing protest in Tembisa. A municipal building and several vehicles belonging to the city of Ekurulani have been set alight. Residents are protesting over, among other things, the cost of municipal rates and taxes. They are also unhappy with Ekurulani Mayor Tanya Campbell, who they say it failed to show up at a community meeting last Friday. You know, um, I want to tell you, as we are closing, uh, that uh, if you must bear this thing in your mind, if, I mean, our country, it needs a political reforms. Let me say that again. Our country needs what? Political reforms. If they don't do it quick, they don't, if they don't do it quick, the young people will take over. And this is going to cause a mess. Let me say that again. Our country needs political reforms and I'm sure they will hear that if they don't do it quick young people will take over so let's pray for the last time